waiver so passengers should check the information on their airlines website to see if your flight is on schedule head over to our w h i o news app and click on flight tracker so far one flight to newark has been canceled several f fifteen aircraft have made their way from jacksonville's air national guard base to wright patterson air force base to escape the storm planes have been flying into the miami valley since late last week wright pat officials say they take in aircraft several times a year when needed and have had to up to 250 airplanes at the base at one time the planes will remain at wright pat until they can return to their home base in florida meanwhile ohio task force one is ready to help out in florida as they wait for dorian the 85 member team left on friday for now crews will be in the miami area but will move to the area that they need their help is needed and dante is here now he's been tracking uh, dorian and yeah. it's still a devastating storm it is it's a category three yeah. probably was strengthened a little bit this afternoon and then we can get to a category three and it just hugs the u.s coastline that's just the devastating part so all those folks that live right along the coast just going to be inundated with high surf and some flooding and some really gusty winds too that could cause some sporadic power outages so just really inconvenient and uncomfortable all week but luckily so far uh, no landfall, but this uh, hurricane could make a landfall uh, either in South or North Carolina as far as the track goes. More than likely, it's looking like maybe portions of Eastern North Carolina might be the landing point with the Category 2 uh, by the time we get into Thursday evening. Okay, so far... It's 120 mile an hour sustained winds, so that is a Category 3, much weakened than when it was two days ago, uh, naturally. Then some gusts up to about 150 miles an hour, but unfortunately these folks in the Bahamas have really, really taken a really devastating hit, and it just won't leave anytime soon because it's just stationary. It'll start today to start kicking itself northward here uh, with these winds around the Bermuda High. And so 120 mile an hour sustained winds by this afternoon and it's starting to move a little bit. It's just parallel to the east coast of Florida by the time we head towards tomorrow morning. It's right off the coast of about Cape Canaveral and they can experience some tropical storm force winds all up and down the coastline of Florida into Georgia and South Carolina. And look at sort of makes landfall right here uh, by Friday morning, 100 miles an hour. Uh, it looks like in uh, Cape Lookout of North Carolina, that's the Outer Banks area, and then it moves off to the Canadian Maritime, still a Category 2 up towards uh, Washington, D.C., just off the coastline there. So it's really a strong storm, and it's going to take a while for it to weaken. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s this morning. 57 in Salina, good morning. Bell Fountain at 57 as well. 64 in Dayton. Springboro at 65, and then Wilmington coming in right around 59. There's some areas of fog. Some of it is dense, too. Champaign County seeing some dense fog this morning. Uh, Butler County seeing some dense fog. Preble County seeing some fog this morning as well. So just a heads up to you. Other than the fog, really no problems with the bus stop for the kids this morning. We're looking at temperatures about 63. Uh, we're warm, and then by this afternoon, sunshine and humidity's up there, and temperatures in the mid 80s, so really no problems at all. The hour by hour forecast, we have the sunshine throughout the day today, temperatures in the mid 80s. It's breezy at times. It's a great day to grill out when you get out of work, get off, get out, get off of work, get out of school. Tomorrow and Thursday, really looking good as well. We've got some rain and some thunderstorms coming in tonight. Here's about 10:30 this evening, uh, Salina, Wapakoneta, Belfont could see some showers and storms, and that starts to move southward through the Miami Valley overnight. And one or two of those storms could really have some gusty winds with them as well, uh, and then some heavy rainfall at times. So the Storm Prediction Center gives us a slight chance uh, for some of us seeing uh, that severe weather. The northern two thirds, everybody else just a marginal risk of severe weather. So we're in the mid 80s today, sunny, warm, and muggy, breezy at times. Overnight tonight, the rain and thunderstorms, and then things turn really fall-like in the upper 70s with sunshine for the rest of the week. All right, let's check in with the hardest working man at Cox Media, Michael Purvis. Good morning to you, Michael. Oh, thank you, Dante, and good morning. Uh, right now, our highway traffic moving along at a really good pace this morning. Pretty quiet start here across the air for the Tuesday morning drive. Looking in uh, Miamisburg, 75 at 725. Right now, no delays reported on 75 in either direction from Dayton even all the way down to Cincinnati. I do have one lingering overnight crash from the overnight. We're still hearing the police are on scene in Dayton, Riverside Drive just south of Siebenthaler Avenue. It's at the intersection with Connect. I'm Michael Purvis, WHIO Team Traffic. Michael, thank you. 521, now 65 degrees. Ohio is keeping up cybersecurity, what it means for upcoming elections.
Good morning. Wake up every day. Police reported the chase with the latest news from overnight. Here's where we stand this morning. And what you need to begin your day. Breaking at this hour.